Have you ever wondered why different people react differently to the same medication? It's a question that has puzzled scientists and doctors alike, leading to the exploration of a fascinating concept, variability in drug response. You see, when a patient is prescribed a medication, the dosing is not just drawn out of thin air, it's based on extensive clinical research and represents average values for a specific population. But here's the kicker. Each person can be unique in their dosing requirements. For most patients, the recommended dose will hit the sweet spot, achieving the desired therapeutic effect with minimal adverse reactions. But that's not always the case. Sometimes medical professionals may need to adjust the dosing or even change the medication altogether. And this leads us to the million-dollar question. So, what causes these individual differences in drug response? The causes of individual variability in drug response can be numerous. This variability often arises from issues with intake and adherence, such as a challenging dosing schedule, an unpalatable drug, or the high cost of medication. Pharmacokinetics, or how our body affects a drug, also play a significant role. Conditions like vomiting, diarrhea, or liver disease can impact drug absorption, while drug interactions can change how a drug is absorbed. The distribution, biotransformation, and elimination of drugs can be affected by factors such as body fat percentage, age, liver dysfunction, and genetic polymorphisms or enzyme deficiencies. Pharmacodynamics, or how a drug affects our body, is another important factor. Genetic variability, disease processes that affect drug pharmacodynamics, and drug tolerance can all influence how a person reacts to a medication. Understanding these factors can help doctors tailor medication regimens to individual patients, improving effectiveness and reducing side effects. So the next time you wonder why you react differently to a drug than someone else, remember, it's all about variability. Now that we've walked through the mystery of medication response and the causes of variability, let's tie up all the loose ends and bring everything together. We've seen that the recommended patient dosing is based on clinical research and represents mean values for a select population. But each person may be unique in their dosing requirements. While the majority of patients will experience the desired therapeutic effect of a drug with minimal adverse drug reactions on the recommended dose, there might be a need to adjust dosing or alter the medication altogether for some. So, where does this variability come from? A multitude of factors can contribute to this phenomenon. One possible cause of individual variability in drug response could be issues with intake. For instance, patient adherence can be a significant challenge. Some patients may find it hard to follow the dosing schedule, find the drug unpalatable, or the cost of the drug might be prohibitive. Another contributing factor is pharmacokinetics, which refers to how a drug is absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted from the body. Changes in absorption due to vomiting, diarrhea, or steatorrhea can alter drug response. Similarly, the first pass effect can be too high due to enzyme induction or too low due to liver disease. Drug interactions can also impact absorption. For instance, calcium carbonate can form complexes with iron, thyroxin, and fluoroquinolones, altering their absorption. Distribution of the drug can also impact individual responses. Factors such as a very high or low percentage body fat, whether the blood-brain barrier is intact or disrupted, and whether the patient is elderly, a neonate, or has liver dysfunction can all impact drug distribution. Biotransformation and elimination are other key components of pharmacokinetics that can influence drug response. Certain genetic polymorphisms or enzyme deficiencies can impact how drugs are metabolized. For example, acetylcholinesterase deficiency and cytochrome P450 polymorphisms can significantly alter drug metabolism. Kidney or liver dysfunction or obstruction of the bile elimination pathway can also impact drug elimination. Pharmacodynamics, or how the drug acts on the body, is another critical piece of the puzzle. Genetic variability in drug response can lead to unique reactions, such as malignant hyperthermia, due to specific anesthetic agents. The disease process can also affect drug pharmacodynamics. And of course, drug tolerance or cross-tolerance can significantly impact how an individual responds to a medication. In conclusion, it's clear that there's a lot more to medication response than meets the eye. It's not just about taking a pill and expecting it to work the same way for everyone. Each person's unique biology, genetics, and circumstances can significantly impact how they respond to a drug, leading to a variability in drug response. As we move forward in the field of medicine, Understanding this variability becomes even more crucial. It will allow us to develop more personalized treatment plans, optimize medication dosing, and ultimately improve patient outcomes.
It's an exciting time to be part of this journey, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. We hope this deep dive into the variability in drug response has been enlightening. As we continue to unravel the intricacies of medication response, we'll keep bringing you the latest findings and insights, so stay tuned for more exciting content. Subscribe and give a thumbs up to keep learning more about the fascinating world of medicine. Thank you for watching.